So, it did rain all night. We end up surviving the storm. Still raining a little bit. It's definitely been a wet morning. Trying to finish packing so I can continue my way into North Carolina. Looks like one of our campers already left. Actually, three of our campers already left, but there's still four of us here. Beaver's still there with her den. Looks like she survived as well. And you can see it's a wet morning. Oh well. Let's finish packing so I can get out of here. So, we left outside like 15 minutes ago or so. And what a brutal gain of uh, elevation gain within the first half a mile or so. Looks like I'm still going up. It's windy, rainy, cold. Very, very bad weather. Looks like the sun wants to show its face. Please come on. You're welcome to show and ride at our day. This is definitely not a good start of this morning. I'm going to climb this mean mountain into North Carolina with this horrible weather. I know, I know it could be worse, but it's the first time I had to pick up uh, my tent and pack it up with rain all muddy and, and wet this is definitely not easy I'm glad nobody told me this was going to be easy people make it look easy but it's not so I'm gonna show you how hard it is. And this keeps going up and up and up. Let's pass the first peak out of two or three that we have for the day. Definitely the first one was steep second one I know it's a higher it's gonna take us to about 40 4700 feet of elevation we started like at 32 and a half I'd like gap so you can see it's definitely challenging especially when it's wet slippery mud and I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing really hard I'm gonna try to do 12.9 miles today but I don't think that's gonna be an option with this weather so 7.7 .7 from Bly Gap is uh, the distance to the Indian Creek shelter or something like that definitely would like to get there with enough time to pick a spot inside the shelter because I definitely am not looking forward to camping in the rain another night if I can avoid it. So far I've only seen three other hikers besides the people that uh, left campsite earlier than me. And there were three others that were still in their tents when I, when I uh, took off. So we'll see how many people are, I mean, I guess the farther north we go on the Appalachian Trail, the lower the amount of people we have around us. Um, I haven't seen several people that I started with that I know through social media are still on the game. Hopefully they'll catch up or maybe I'll catch them up. Who knows? It's part of the... Uh, the adventure. 
Now going down, of course, to then keep my butt to go back up. Never any story on this. But I guess that's what we all sign for, to be tortured <laughs> by this craziness and the beauty of nature. That's why nature media works. Nature media definitely works. What a beautiful little section of the trail. Sassafras Gap. There's a little camping section here. I guess if I had the strength last night, I would have probably make it here. But no, the uh, climbing of this mountain was brutal. I'm glad I'm almost done with it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it got better. Rain. Had stopped for a little bit, even though the forecast said that it was going to rain all day. So I'm here wearing all my rain gear, pants, jacket, and gloves. Uh, so hopefully, it will stay this way so I can remove some of this because it's a little uncomfortable hiking with all these layers. And the insole of my shoe keeps sliding and rolling within the shoe. I already had to stop twice to adjust it. I might have to get me a different insert, inserts for my shoes uh, when I get to Franklin. Because uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more, uh, lots more of uh, rainy days. And I don't wanna have to be dealing with this issue all the time. So looks like we got our first clear view of the day and it looks very nice. Unfortunately, I'm just using my small camera so I can't really show much detail from here but it gives you a good idea of the perspective I have. Where you can see the bed of clouds above the mountains and then uh, there's like a small town or something there far down so we got a little bit of sun that's good hopefully we'll keep coming up and warming up a little bit because it's cold trying to stay moving so I don't lose my warm yep sun has come up very nice if it stays that way, I'll probably shed off some of these layers soon. Thing is, as soon as you get layers off, it cools off again, sun goes back down, and you're cold again. It's always the opposite. And looks like we're approaching the muskrat. Muskrat. Um, gap shelter. This is where a lot of hikers are gonna either stop for lunch or call it home for the night. I just got passed by like six different people all heading to this shelter. So it's uh, early on the day but they might start super early in the morning to be stopping so soon. already set up but well, we'll keep going to the next shelter for another 5.4 5 
1.3 miles. the famous chunky gal <laughs> heard about this place so many times chunky gal trail number 77 shortcut to Franklin huh I don't think so is that a shortcut no, but there's a nice view through the trees Love the moss over, over the trees, over the fallen trees and everything. It's so nice. Maybe two more weeks, we start seeing the colors of spring. Definitely very nice of you, North Carolina, that after the brutal welcoming you gave me coming up that mountain, which I can't think of the name right now, right after Black Gap. Now we got this beautiful walk in the park. A little warmer weather would be nice, but I won't complain too much. This is definitely nice. It's just like a walk in the park, flat and beautiful. I'm enjoying this walk. Let's keep it this way till I get to the shelter, please. You'll have a happy camper. No doubt about it. You're definitely showing your true colors, North Carolina. Beautiful, beautiful from hello. So nice. So nice. I love the green over the rocks. Gives it a nice view, feel. Definitely makes you want to be out here. So we have arrived to the uh, standing Indian shelter. It was a short hike, but a very hard hike for me today. 7.7 .7 miles of hell coming up the first mountains of North Carolina. 
but now we're here uh, we'll set up camp and get some good rest because they say tomorrow is going to be a nice day so i gotta recoup some of the uh, lost miles that i didn't get to do today so tomorrow has to be a big day for me all right This is the shelter. Awesome. What's up? So we end up finding a spot for the tent. Shelter was full, so we had to accommodate. But there's still plenty of uh, tent space. Hopefully Bieber will show up soon. She sent a text saying that she was two hours away, but <clears throat> with the day the way it is, she'll be here quick. And there's one more coming in right now. All right, so we're picking up camp and ready to go. Let's see what's up here. It was a all right night. Won't complain too much about it. <clears throat> Didn't really get a chance to record last night because I was just trying to get all my shorts done and get ready for bed because it was starting to get cold as the night came by. Luckily it didn't rain. So here's the shelter and the standing in the shelter looks like everybody's gone nobody really made a fire last night but by the time we arrived the shelter was packed it would have been nice to be here somebody left his jacket socks and boots Let's see if there's a logbook. Uh, logbook, but I'm not gonna feel it. Nice table. down there if you can see afar in the distance pretty clean whole family of campers getting ready to leave as well so yeah today we're gonna try to go 11.3 miles to the next campsite and that should put says about another 11 miles to Franklin North Carolina for Saturdays taking a zero <clears throat> all right so let's start marching down see if the sun comes up right now it's very foggy I like the spooky look. <clears throat> All right, Iris. You here? I'll see you in a little bit. See you in a little bit. Awesome. Iris has been the only one so far that I've been able to be around since we started. Um, it's been good company. 
even though we don't really see each other through the day as we hike. So anyway, water source was behind. I already got my stash of water for the first uh, couple of miles or so. All right, so up we go. We're half the way through this mountain. So we gotta get all the way to the top. So that's not good. It looks like there's a fallen tree. So hopefully there's a spot to go around it. Oh yeah. I guess I was judging it from too far. I really didn't see this little path. Snap, looks fresh. <sighs> so another fallen tree, not too bad. It's a small one, easily. I'm gonna go over it. And the sun is starting to really show. So nice. Oh my, oh my god, that's beautiful. talking about perfection this is what they meant this is perfect it's like a whole valley down there full of uh, trees and goes into the horizon a lake down there and the clouds right above it you can see several layers Absolutely magnificent. And the views keep getting better and better. Oh my God. North Carolina, you continue to impress me. I haven't spent a whole year in your grounds for nothing. You are beautiful. All right, looks like we made it all the way to the top. And now we're about to start heading down. It's been definitely a very nice, uh, probably so far this is my favorite section of the trail since I left from Springer Mountain. Wow, what a beautiful landscape. And with the fog and the sun peeking through, just gave it 
a wonderful vibe. Very, very happy with today's uh, development so far. Let's hope that we have an awesome rest of the day. moments like this that makes you wonder how many beautiful things you're missing in life when all you can hear is the chirping of birds and get the occasional hiker that passes you by with a big smile on his or her face it's beauty of life so far this it been uh, like a walk in the park the rain is flat, not too rocky, not too rooty. And the day has come. It'll be a very nice morning. The sun's ready up, it's warming up. Extremely nice day, making up for yesterday's cold, wet uh, day. So hopefully, we'll have many days like this coming up very enjoyable to be out with this weather so far the day has been amazing and this looks like it could be a very nice campsite or it is actually a very nice campsite there's a fire pit and several tenting spots Looks like we're approaching Betty Creek campsite or something like that. Or maybe not. Now this is Carter Gap Shelter. Carter Gap Shelter. Water. Huh. There are several of these signs saying that there's been a lot of uh, bear activity on this area between uh, Betty Creek to Carter's Gap so from here to the next uh, campsite which is actually we were planning on spending the night tonight so we'll see hopefully we won't have any issues So this is the Carter Gap Shelter. Looks like a very spacious shelter 
with I would say room for like six people comfortably in bed. Looks pretty clean. Fire pit. More of the signs for the bears. Let's see what's behind it. Oh yeah, beautiful view from behind the shelter. It's too bad we're not staying here tonight, even though this is right in the center of where the bear encounters have happened. So, oh well. It is what it is. So we have arrived to a little vista here. Nice view. Oh wow. Magnificent! Had a good view. Look at that, the rocks over there. Wow! Damn. That might be worth the last 5% on my phone. <laughs> I need to figure out how to turn off background apps or something. Man, my phone about died today. Really? Totally died. I think, I think I had the Wi-Fi on by accident too. I found it on. It could have been on all day. Probably. And it was like searching for shit. Which head boil is that? Stash? This one, the jet boil. Oh, which model? Oh, I don't know. So we are almost to campsite. Less than two miles ahead. We'll be setting home for the night. We stop at that uh, overlook a little while ago. To have lunch and what an amazing view definitely highly recommend stopping there for lunch or so beautiful beautiful view so we have arrived southern Natahala wilderness Betty Creek Gap Trail campsite. So now we just gotta find a spot. How about right on? This to the right looks good too, just in case. So this is like a little maze campsite. Oh yes, more private, yeah? Perfect. Oh, we got a neighbor. What's going on? You see my Blacksburg pants on? No, I didn't go there. But I, I just have them. I actually don't like Virginia Tech because they kind of ruined the whole town. But like. Alright, so we're at camp. Now we're in the search of a water source. They point me in this direction and then claim that the water source is in a beautiful spot. So let's see if we can find it. You coming from the water source? 
I didn't think it was that far away. Is it really? Oh yeah. Nice. Ice cold. <clears throat> Blue blaze indicates proximity to the water. I can hear it. I just can't see it yet, so I got a feeling that's all the way at the bottom. Which sucks because then I gotta go all the way back up to camp. Oh well. It's almost six o'clock. We still have an hour and 45 minutes or so of daytime, daylight. So, <clears throat> plenty of time to get settled and ready for bed. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a pool. Tempting to get a bath in there. It's too shallow, not deep enough for that. Mm -mm -mm. So we got our water, about two and a half liters. So let's see how this goes. I was telling Iris earlier that I'm getting so used to the water on the mountains. I don't know what I'm gonna do once I get back to the city. I might not like it anymore. here is so pure fresh with no funny tastes of any kind it's just amazingly oh, here's our way back to camp and that's why we call her whisper because you can hear from you can hear her from a mile away and that's whisper to you And that's home for tonight. I'm terrible. All these snacks in my tent all the time. <laughs> but I don't really want to be there. I think I can tonight. I met a girl in Oregon that did it three years ago and she said 